What's cracking everybody, Zerafel Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle League content. Today's videos are going to be in the Ultra League Weather Cup with a team that I found on day one that just absolutely raked, featuring Regice. This thing is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Absolutely nuts. And I'm sure you all have noticed by now because there has been a Home Slice Winery video that exposed the secret of Regice uh, a couple days after the cup came out and it kind of got everywhere. So I ran this team up to about the 2900 ELO range before everybody and their mother knew about Regice and then I didn't, <laughs> I couldn't take advantage of it anymore. So I did also run this team with Jellison on the lead and if you don't have a Regice, you could slot Kyurem. Um, you could also slot Cradillion in the back somewhere as well if you don't have the Sand Slash, for example. I do prefer Shadow Sand Slash here on this team. But uh, let's get into these video, uh, into this video and into these battles because these battles are absolutely absolutely lit and this team the patron discord was running it for the first few days and everybody gained at least like two three hundred elo with it easy it was it's was, it was nuts i'm saying it's bananas but anyway so let's check out these battles we've got game one tender cruel into samurai you couldn't ask for a nicer lead here um, Samurott does swap out, Kiram comes in and I immediately hard counter my opponent with the Sand Slash and I do want to go for an Ice Punch right away. I was a little slow on the swap here, you want to get to that Ice Punch before they get to the Glaciate. Doesn't really matter for the matchup, um, but it would have been nice for me to be able to get out of the matchup and do some extra damage to that, uh, <coughs> extra damage to the, um, I can't speak. Extra damage to the Samurott. There it is. So, not like we missed anything with me bumbling over my own words here. But uh, these battles are taken off a of patron live stream. And I keep talking about the patrons, but um, I do stream exclusively for my patrons uh, whenever I can to find the time. Um, and if you're interested in joining that Discord where there's just a slew of amazing people, everybody is helping each other grow as battlers, and obviously. Um, you also get access to all of my secrets and my strategies and my teams and everything before they even hit the uh, hit the YouTubes and my opponent just quits there at that point. And then Tender Cruel and the Sand Slash, this, this is a good battle right here. So um, anyway, link in the description for uh, Discord, just join it, it's great. Um, I swap immediately into Red Ice here because I got that Focus Blast and my opponent, my opponent knows this has Thunder, but I don't know if they know I Focus Blast. And again, these battles were done right at the beginning of the cup they take the focus blast to the face, and they come with a Gyarados, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm going for Thunder here. Maybe they don't think I got Thunder either. <laughs> this battle is disgusting. Oh, okay, so they shield the Thunder, um, and then I'm going to go for another Thunder. <laughs> I'm so sorry to this opponent. Like, my, my, my patrons and I were in the Discord, like, laughing ourselves silly at this battle. Um... But, I mean, this is the power of the teams that I run in the early days of the Cups. I typically find those things that people aren't familiar with, and I run them and have them just go off. So, it, it, that that's what the value from myself is to all of you if you decide to join that wonderful Discord. Um, so, I decided to put up my two shields here because at this point, I'm like, my opponent must be incredibly weak to Regice. And I think, I think... At this point, they may be running ABB with a Pelipper in the back. And by the way, yeah, there's a Pelipper in the back. And you want to know what happens to this poor Pelipper? It tries to farm down my Red Ice, but it's also going to eat a Thunder. It's like... <laughs> oh, I'm also sending these battles to Zionic. He agreed to shoutcast these. He has no idea what's coming until he sees it. So check his channel out tomorrow. It'll be great. We got a Lantern on the lead. Um, I swap immediately back to Red Ice here to try and just draw out maybe a hard counter to my own Sand Slash, hoping to preserve shields. That's one thing that Red Ice is really good at in this meta, is forcing shields off my opponent while not even needing it for itself until like the very last second. This thing is so incredibly tanky. I go for a Thunder here, and afterwards you, I, I learned that you do need to go for the Focus Blast. Because the Focus Blast will two-shot, Thunder will not. This was me kind of testing Red Ice on the cup at the same time. And these battles were done last Wednesday evening. So um, they aren't immediate. And unfortunately, I just don't have the ability to record and put videos out right away. So I do have to uh, record over the weekend, even though the battles were done several days prior. But it's all right. You guys get to see it now. And hopefully it still works for you. Let me know how this team's doing for you if you're running it as well. Now, my opponent decided to stay in with the Lantern here. So I'm thinking there's a chance they may just not have a hard answer to Regice. Which means they also may not have a hard answer to Alolan Sand Slash. Which we haven't even seen yet. I don't think. Um, 
But yeah, we have. We saw it when it came out with the Kyurem. So the nice thing about the Shadow version of Alolan Sandslash and why I would highly recommend building it over the regular version is that it can beat the Alolan, uh, or it can, it can beat the Jellicent in the uh, One Shield with those Shadow Claws. Now, just landing one Bulldoze will be enough. Now, fortunately for my opponent, they're running Bubble Beam, and I have to shame every single one of you running Bubble Beam still. I understand that there is a tactical reason for it, but I hate all of you who still run Bubble Beam after Jealous and got Serp. It's just such an unnecessary thing to do. You win so many more matchups with Surf. It does so much better with Surf. Just stop running Bubble Beam. It's just, it makes me hate you, and I don't want to hate you. So I bring in my Tender Cruel here to preserve a little bit of HP on the Sand Slash, knowing now that even though there's a Jellicent in the back, that Jellicent will not appreciate how much those Shadow Claws are going to shred for after I've applied a debuff. And I'm also going to go for a Scald here, knowing that my opponent just went for that Bubble Beam. I think they went for it right away, so they have to go for about another 4 or 5 to get to a Shadow Ball, which I'm going to get to the Scald before they're able to do so. They get an Attack Drop, which is really nice. Must suck to suck. Yeah, you don't like attack drops either, do you? Yeah, meh. So I go for another Scald here, um, just trying to force the opponent to drop their Jellicent or Shield here. And they do decide to Shield, so I immediately swap in. Look how much damage. Look how much damage they do. The Shadow Claws. Are you gonna go for a Bubble Beam again? Yeah, you do. I Shield the Bubble Beam, but it's still gonna be better than shielding a... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be better than shielding an energy ball, even. Um, at this point, I'm just like, whatever. Um, my opponent goes for another ball. <laughs> I don't know, but at this point, what I need to do here is I need to undercharge and get the uh, get an ice punch through onto this Jellicent before it can take me out. Um, not so much take me out, but um, just to make sure that I can take it out because I wasn't about to mess around and try and find out what time up was about to do to me. Plus, um, I didn't mean to CMP that... Uh, Obama Snow. So, really bad lead here on the Jellicent. We're going to swap to Regice here, and my opponent immediately comes up with a low and sand slash. And I remember saying on my stream, Trainer, this is not this is not an answer. This is not an answer to Regice, and you're about to find out why. <laughs> and now, with almost very minimal damage done to it, Regice gets to just go ham against this person's Jellicent. Thunder does about 50 so percent against the Jellicent, maybe 45 if I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere right in there. Um, Shadow Balls, like 30. So we vastly outpace. I'm going to over farm here. I usually try to throw my Thunders just under the count that it would be for the Shadow Ball forcing the shield and forcing my opponent to think about what they're going to do before they do it. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I can let this go. And they go for a surf. It's not KO my French ice trainer. So they're out of shields and their jealous is about to take a thunder. And at this point, I should have swapped out to prevent them from getting any extra farm, but I have two shields. And at this point, I'll just come up with my sand slash. By the time I get to the Ice Punch, I can probably KO it with an Ice Punch. Um, I'll let this go because I know that my Sand Slash can comfortably live one Shadow Ball if I have to. But I will shield the next ones. Probably Surf. I always go Surf afterwards. I always shield the Surfs. I, I've noticed. It's, it's a constant thing. It doesn't matter what I shield. I always eat Shadow Balls and shield Surfs. No matter what order they're thrown in. No matter what order I shield in. It's just it's a perpetual curse. Uh, I go for a CMP here on the Cradilly. Knowing that they're probably about to go for a Stone Edge, I would rather just get this off now. My opponent having no shields, I can just let this go if I want to, but I do decide instead to shield farm down, and I'm going to be able to go for a nice punch if I want to here against the Jellicent, but that's all right. We'll take that out. Good game to my opponent. Playing against a Legend Trainer with a Blaziken on the lead. This is where I need to see the Blaziken, because if it counter swaps into my Regice, it's a bad time. My opponent's staying in here, which is very strange to me. I'm wondering if they're ABA weak to Tendercruel, which is very possible. Some trainers running like maybe Tapu Fini, Alola Ninetales in the back. So I shield this up because I'm not about to find out how much Brave Bird does to my Tendercruel. Yeah, excuse me, even though I'm pretty sure it does a fair amount. And I undercharge this to get some farm, but my opponent decides to shield it anyway, so I'm going to now counter their Cordilli with my alone Sand Slash. Makes sense to have Cordilli in the back, right? They have something to deal with the water types like Jellicent. Um, but my A Slash is just going to shred their 
Cordelia apart here. Um, gonna try to throw these moves with good timing. I'm trying to keep track of the opponent's uh, move count. They throw really early here, and I'm like, this has definitely got to be a grass knot, so I opt not to shield it. And it is indeed the grass knot. I make them look like a fool, and it allows me to farm up a lot more energy, and I'm still not gonna be able to get a bulldoze off on this Blaziken like I was hoping to, but it's gonna still allow me to chip a little bit with an ice punch, which is still something. Maybe the Tenor Cool can farm it all the way the rest of the way down before they get to the Blaze Kick. I don't know the... Brave Bird, I don't know, but they come in with a Lantern, and I immediately swap in my Red Ice before I get farmed down, because at this point, they still have given me the alignment that I need. It's just a matter of whether or not they had decided to um, stay in with that Red Ice. Now, I still gotta stop recording so late, man. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't swap out right away, considering the, the matchup with Cradilly really... I mean, I know it's a losing matchup, but it's not that bad. And the Lantern obviously just not does it really nicely against my Tentacruel. So I'm not really sure why the trainer decided not to uh, <laughs> decided not to do that. But I did end up having a little bit of a desync de switch timer, which was not fun for me. I'm now using my final shield on the Brave Bird because I honestly feel like the Brave Bird probably do more damage than <laughs> then the acid spray would, or the acid, uh, then the uh, thunder. This is why you don't let me into like actual shoutcasting official events because I can't keep my thoughts straight at 9:58 at night on a Sunday. <laughs> Shoot me, whatever. Um, I know that the brave bird probably does more than that thunderbolt does, so I'm just gonna go for the acid spray here to take out this lantern, and that's gonna be a good game. I think this is just a straight set of wins here. Um, I don't think any of my losses were in these sets that I recorded here. Um, but there definitely were some, and lately definitely, I, especially after um, the Reg Ice exposing happened. Oh my gosh. Oh, not this game. No. <laughs> I thought it was a Charizard, dude. I came in with my... I came with my Sand Slice. I thought it was a Charizard, dude. Oh my goodness. I cannot remember. I cannot believe I actually put this game in here. Okay. Um, oh, Zionic's gonna have a blast with this one. Speaking of blast, it's a blast burn. So I now know that I don't have to shield anything off this Blaziken. I was thinking that maybe they were gonna have Stone Edge or uh, Brave Bird. So I'm gonna farm all the rest of the way down here. And that is actually kind of nice, um, considering that they had Tapu Fini. I have two really strong answers to Tapu Fini on my team. Obviously, one is a complete wall to it. And here my opponent comes in with Incineroar. So they're running Tapu Fini double fire. Their entire team loses to Tentacruel. So it suddenly now makes sense as to why they would want to swap in um, a Blaziken like that. I would have liked to think that maybe they should have... Oh, I don't know. I mean, both of them are pretty bad matchups. So I actually stay in too long here. I think I should have just thrown... Um, should have just thrown it should have just swapped into my red ice and been done with it here but i guess this guarantees that the thunder one shots rather than um having to two shot the top of which is a little bit more risky and that leaves me with a lot more hp in the end to get rid of that incinerar now i'm gonna over farm a lot here um just because i don't want to take oh gosh i don't want to be in a position where i am tanking uh more of this Incineroar's energy than I have to, so I would rather be able to get the shield from them with an early thunder by over farming and then force them to throw so I don't get to another thunder. And then Tentacruel could literally probably just farm down here. Um, goodness, I must be a very tired person. Father of three children, I tell you, it's it's fun, it's it's wonderful, and I mean that, I mean it, it does have its wonderful things. However, man, they are very tiring little little gremlins. So that's a good game against a team that was completely and utterly weak to Tentacruel. Able to come back after getting, getting disgustingly farmed down by... Goodness gracious, that was disgusting. All right, so we're going to hard counter the opponent's Kinger Swap in with, a, with an A-slash. And they have their Bombastow on the lead, which is also a hard loss to the Tentacruel. So, so far, we're looking good here. It's just a matter of whether or not they've got anything in the back. I can hit a red dice. Oh boy. I gotta stop this, man. I need like a monster or something. This is, this is, I'm so sorry. Because this is very unprofessional. <laughs> but I'm like, man. Ah, I got no other chance to do these right now. So bear with me, please. Hopefully the battles and content are still enjoyable despite me being a sleep deprived individual. Now, um, I do shield this up because I need to maintain switch. My opponent does a very good job here. Um, of at least making sure that I have to go shields down and giving me debuffs, but I do come out of this with some energy to throw at the Obama Snow. Um, 
And I think I might actually even swap here to free up my debuff after seeing how much damage this does. Just Yeah, I do, because I know that I can swap in my Regice and go for a Focus Blast against the Abomb Snow if they don't swap out. And if they swap in, they've probably got another Water type in the back, or it may be even a Curem. So I'll just go for a Focus Blast here. <laughs> this is going to one-shot that poor little Abomb Snow, dude. There it goes. <laughs> Takes out a bomb of snow, and they've got a jealous in the back, which is why they decided not to swap. Now, this is a still a little dangerous for me. I have no shields, and my opponent has jealous in, and I can't swap out. So they go for one shadow ball here. I think I just barely live this. And then I'm able to get a thunder off, I think. Oh, yeah, with like one HP, dude. This red ice is disgustingly strong. I've also been using it in factions lately in Justicar. Oh, absolute rip of a Pokemon. Okay. Got a few more for you here in this video, ladies and gents. We've got a Tentacruel Mirror lead, which I'm not super fond of, but we have a Regice and an A-Slash in the back. Two very good counters to this Tentacruel. My opponent is staying in. They will eat this Thunder for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then we'll see how if they want to respond from here, if they want to go for an Acid Spray and Swap, or if they would just rather stay in, go for the Scald. We'll see what they'd like to do here. They go for the Acid Spray, and then they come in with an Alolan Ninetales. Now, that does suck. They did... They're going to go full ham on the charms here, but that's also going to give my Tentacruel a massive farm down, and I still, um, I don't get switch advantage here, but I might be able to get to this Thunder before going down here. Nope, just barely not going to make it, but the Tentacruel here is going to come in, and I, I will let this size Shock go, if that's what they decide to throw, and they do. Um, Psy Shock is definitely painful, but I'm only going to have to tank one. And resisting these charms is good. And then I have a huge energy lead um, on the Tentacruel. I have a shield advantage. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm going to go for an Acid Spray here. And then I'm either going to look to go for the Scald and, sure, and drop their HP a little bit further down. Or I'm just going to... No, I'm just going to swap straight into Sand Slash. They come in with a Kyurem. They've been hard countered in the back and a neutral lead in the front. Kind of cancels it out. So my uh, Sand Slash is going to be able to easily carry its energy from this matchup over into the uh, Tentacruel matchup afterwards. And I think this, in this game what I do, actually, is I think I'm going to end up swapping my Tentacruel in to try and debuff the opponent and then come in with my Sand Slash again. We'll I'll have to see how. I know I did that in at least one of the games on my stream, but I don't remember if it was this particular one. So I am going to shield this up because I know that the opponent threw their uh, all of their energy into my um, Sand Slash before... Was it Sand Slash? No. Uh, it was a lax tentacruel. Um, so I am going to go ahead and just continue to go here. Now, I have a shield, so I want to just go for Bulldoze. But my opponent goes for an Acid Spray here. And I'm going to go for this Bulldoze. Do super effective damage and try and let my tentacruel finish the game off for me here. Now, um, this is this is so low that, yeah, a Scald here will KO, and that's going to be a good game. And that'll be it. And the opponent decides to surrender just as I get to the Scald. I don't know. That's fine. I still lost. Well played, though. It was hard countered. There's nothing you can do about it, to be honest. Our Reg Ice is going to come straight into this now. And the opponent comes in with a Keldeo. Now, this is interesting. I think this is the first time I saw the Keldeo. Uh, I know that it has Sacred Sword, but it was a matter of what the secondary move was. And they're running, uh, typically run close combat. So this person's very heads up on the Reg Ice already. However, I don't like this thing because it gets hard countered by Jellicent and Tentacruel both, which are two very, you know, well, especially Jellicent. It's like super popular in this cup. Now, I'm going to go for shields here because I know that I can get to another Thunder and potentially either get a second shield and giant farm down on my Tentacruel or take them in deep into the red. I didn't know how much damage that the, uh, the Sacred Sword would do right off the bat or how much damage the uh, Thunder would do right off the bat, but I found out later that it does probably about... Uh, it gets it right into the red after the lock-ons in the Thunderland. It gets it right into the red. So um, I do have to eat some moves here. Keldeo is is pretty attack weighted. Um, I know Zionic and a couple of other content creators have kind of featured it already. Um, <clears throat> I'm not looking to shield anything here. I want my Sand Slash to uh, have its shields that it needs, at least the one shield here. Um, my opponent goes for the close combat, which is good here. That allows them to get a bunch of extra damage off that resisted uh, fighting type. 
And then I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for an acid spray here. I'm gonna try and get as much extra damage in with my shadow claws as I can before the opponent swaps out, which is just a little bit, and they end up having a, uh, a bomb of snow in the back. So we're looking pretty good here as far as low and sand slash sweeping. And obviously that's you know the whole point of having double ice. We're using reg ice to really draw out the hard counter that my opponent might have for the alone sand slash like you know blaziken or you know incineroar i guess any fire types for the most part um or any fighting types that may exist like polyrath perhaps um anything that would really give my um give my sand slash a really hard time because obviously you can never really safe swap sand slash because it's double weak to fire and fighting so you never really want to go that route but I'll save my shield here for my tentacle, and what I do here actually is this is the game where I swapped in. Yep. So I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna because it's the last Pokemon left alive. I'm gonna go for the Acid Spray debuff, and then I'm gonna go for the Scald here to get some damage in. I, my opponent does go for a move here, so I let it go. It's just a Surf, and I live with just a smidge of HP, allowing me to get off the Scald, potentially lowering their attack as well. This puts them well into Bulldoze range, plus some Ice. Um, not it's a powder snows. It's uh, shadow claws. That's gonna take out the jellicent. That's a good game. Now this last game is against uh, fellow content creator Toshi. I'm sure, you all know Toshi at this point, especially if you're on Twitter. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Gonna swap in my reg ice as normal, and I do hold off typically on the focus blast and make sure I'm throwing in the middle of a fast move because there's been several times where my opponent has gone to catch that Focus Blast on a Jellicent. Now, he goes to catch it on his Kingdra, and because of that Focus Blast landing on the Kingdra, now I can go for Thunders because it will bring it low enough that I can actually KO or farm down. So, I will expend one shield here because I'm almost certain that I'm going to get to... Oh, I don't even expend the shield. Ah, all right, I go for the farm down here. Probably because I wanted to go for a couple Scalds. In the moment right here, I think I maybe playing this back in my head maybe i would have gone for a shield to go for another thunder to try and um maybe get rest switch but knowing that they have an alolan sand slash in the lead is really rough especially when i know it's got all that energy um now he goes for a shadow claw instead of going for a bulldoze right away which allows me to get the scald off drop the attack and i come straight in with my alolan sand slash and even though it's debuffed i'm gonna call a bait here doesn't bait go straight for bulldoze which is the correct thing to do and he's gonna come in with the jellicent <laughs> Jellicent's going to go straight for Surfs at this point. It doesn't need to do anything less than go for Surfs, but because my attack has not been lowered, thankfully, I can still go for Bulldozes, and my Shadow Claws are still shredding just as much as they were before. And that means that this Jellicent is going to have to figure itself out pretty quickly here. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over a sickness as well. Getting over some cold here, so forgive me. Um, now, normally... The Ice Punch is not the move to throw here, but it's such a low HP, I could certainly get away with it because it'll be enough. And now it's going to be a matter of trying to figure out who's got how much energy. I don't remember how much energy he's got on this thing, but I'm going to try to catch a move here. And I fail to catch the move, but because I'm close to the Skull, he has to go for a move. And he's going to go for the Bulldoze to guarantee the KO on the Tentacruel. But because I'm so close to the Bulldoze on my own Sand Slash, I'm going to be able to take out that Sand Slash. And that's going to be a good game. Very well played to Toshi in that game. That was a very close game. And I think that he was pretty close to a move as well. I, I don't know how it was for this end, but I remember I, he, I felt like he was like so close to a move until he threw that Bulldoze and then we were good. So, um, stream cut out on me for a bit after that. But that was all of the games in that set or in those sets so thank you all so much for watching again uh links in the description for you know patreon discord coaching as well as submitting battles for shoutcasting so i'm going to leave it there with you guys and we're going to talk about master premiere in tomorrow's video thank you all so much for watching we're going to catch you in the next one Bye bye